Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah An important right, reminder for myself and my brothers and sisters in Islam is the importance of practicing knowledge. And as many of us are aware, as Imam Bukhari rahimahullah ta'ala had a chapter entitled uh, in Sahih Muslim which is entitled Al-Ilm Qabla Al-Qawli Wal-Amal Knowledge precedes statements and actions so it's very important the importance of islamic knowledge islamic knowledge is going to be uh, nur it's going to be light for you and burhan it's going to be also uh, that which is clear and uh, proof and an evidence and it's dalil you know and, it, and it's it's evidence which is going to light the way for you and make your practice and your worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more meaningful and based uh, grounded in the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And we know that in order to have our deeds accepted by Allah Azza wa Jal, that we have to have a khlas lillah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that we do it sincerely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we have to do it in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And I wanted to read two athar. Uh, to Athar of the Salaf, of this Ummah, Salaf al Salih, Ridwan Allahi alayhim, which are two Athar or narrations that show us the minhaj or the methodology of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in and how they differ with us. Because we are so eager to speak, so many people want to comment and speak and speak about the religion and engage in issues and major messiah as we've been recently talking about takfir and talking about takfiris and people who have deviated from the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam like Abu Hamza al-Misri, Abu Qatada al-Filistini and uh, Faisal, uh, Abdullah al-Faisal al-Jamaiki and how deviants like this have propagated the sweetness and made the sweetness of Islam become sour to many people in the world, Muslim and non-Muslim. And so, El uh, knowledge, Islamic knowledge, and sound Islamic knowledge is, in fact, as Ibn al-Qayyum mentions, is also a weapon. It's like a sword. And the more knowledge that you have, and again, you should not seek knowledge for this purpose, as the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, but that this silah, al-ilm huwa silah, that knowledge is, is, it's a sword or it's a weapon. Because when you think about it, think about it, when ahl bid'a and ahl ahwa the people of desires and innovation, when they come with their various shubahat, their various doubts about the religion, some propagate secularism, some propagate modernist, a modernist approach to Islam, uh, some pro- propagate a, uh, you know, a tekfiri backward understanding, which only goes back to the khawarij, the original uh, dogs of the hellfires, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, al-khawarij kilab al-nar, the khawarij are the dogs of the hellfire. So, all of these deviant groups, they are calling to the hellfires. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in another authentic hadith in which he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam drew a line in the sand. He said, and it was narrated, خَطَّ لَنَا رُسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمَ خط. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam drew a line. وَخَطَّ عَلَى يَمِينِ وَعَلَى يَسَارِ uh, Then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam drew a line on the right and on the left. Uh, uh, before that, the Prophet والسلام, when he drew the first line, he said, Hadha Sabilullah. This is the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning it's a straight path, and there's only one. Hadha bin Hajj salaf al Hadha deen Allah built on, Hadha deen Allah, deen Hanafiya, deen built on Tawheed and Ikhlas was Sunnah. And then the Prophet والسلام, drew one on the right and the left, and he said, Hadha hi subur. The Prophet drew one on the right and one on the left. He said, at the end of each one of these is a shaitan. And they call to it. They, what do they call their path? Look at all these groups. Jamaat at the they call you to khuruj. Uh, the takfiris, they call you khuruj against the government. They call you to make takfir of your brothers and sisters Islam. They make hizbiyah to such an extent and ta'asab that you, they're the only real Muslims. They're the only authentic Muslims. They make the blood of the Muslims halal. That's their sabil. 
ala kulu sabil fi ha shaitan on every sabil ala kulu sabil fi fi hi shaitan on every sabil on every path there's a devil calling to it except for the path of ahlus sunnati wal jamaa which is the path had a sabil law this is the path of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so listen to the head of the jamaa Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, how they understood the religion and how it was so important for them to have knowledge and then practice. And may Allah bless us with ilm and nafiyah, wa rizqin tayyib wa amal al and may Allah forgive us of our many shortcomings and help us to be better at practicing uh, what we learn and what we preach. Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala he said, Ta'lamu al ilm fi idha alamtum فَعَمِلُوا uh, uh, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud رضي الله تعالى عنه Sahabi Jaleel رضي الله تعالى عنه مجمعين He said uh, تعلموا Sorry تعلموا العلم He said learn knowledge What kind of knowledge is he talking about? علم النافية What is علم النافية? علم الشرع What is علم الشرع? علم كتاب الله وسنة الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم Either alam to then if you learn, then practice. This is Sabila Mubini, that's the Sahaba Radiallahu Ta'ala and Majmain. So different than us. We gain a little bit of knowledge and we do the worst sins. We gain a little bit of knowledge and we call everybody a hisbi, and we call and we make tikfir of people, we do this, we do this, we do this. Where are we compared to the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Radiallahu Ta'ala and Majmain? They learned and they practice, and it was benefiting their heart. And then they dealt with those other major messiah. And they practiced the deen kamil completely. Sufyan al-Thawri, rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, Ma balaghani ane rasuli lahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam hadithun qat illa amal tu bihi walo marra. That's the Sabeel al And that's how we need to be. So he said, Sufyan al-Thawri, Rahimullah Ta'ala, one of the tabi'in, I believe it's a tabi'i or it's a tabi'i. He said, Rahmatullah Alayhi, Rahmatul Wasi'ah, he said, there wasn't a hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that came to me except that I practiced it even if it was only one time. You see the Sabila and the Minhaj of the Salaf? And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ilm al-nafi, rizq al-tayyib, wa amal al-muntaqabini, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.